because I think my things somewhere on there it says like delay in starting it um so for some reason we start talking I'm like hey guys and blah blah blah, blah. and then all of a sudden when I play it back it starts with me saying so that's why I decided to blah 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 and I'm like oh my god they don't even know what I'm talking about um so we are doing a I make let's see one two I make three chicken dumplings I make a chicken dumplings with like looks like a piece of a thin pastry on the top hi meal um i make another one where chicken dumplings is in the oven it's more like a casserole that one's more like um chicken with like cream of chicken and um like a, a soup and then on top of it it's like you put it in the oven like in a 9 by 13 and it's like dumplings on the top this one i started making this about um maybe about four or five years ago i saw somebody and i was like oh i, I mean everybody loves to not find a new recipe and i saw chicken dumplings i was like oh i wonder if it's like mine so then i went to it and i was like oh it's a whole stove top chip in dumplings watch out love um i'm looking for my other package there. oh okay so this is the recipe i saw on when i watched it i don't know I, don't care I watch i watch a lot of recipes they use a pet a biscuit oh i think it was rachel ray maybe um but she said take the help where you can get it here's the biscuits cut it open and make it the way it says so you can do that i've made them like that that it, it turns out fine um and then like the more i like started cooking more i was like oh, i want to make my own dumplings so then i realized i wanted to get flour and make my own biscuits like they're more like drop biscuits um that that's more what it's like it's more like a drop biscuit in the in the liquid and then you put the top on it and then the top on it ends up being like uh steaming the little biscuit and it just it feels like it's not gonna believe it or not you're not gonna believe this but it feels like um the pillowiness of a beignet if anybody's had a beignet um that's what it's like it feels like um you bite into the little pillow of the they're just done differently in the oven than in uh like a biscuit that's steamed and in the broth and everything but it does feel like a a pillowy bite in your mouth <laughs> we love the beignets i'm so, you guys um you, is that good baby half it's okay half, half an onion yeah sure all right you need more my carrots. poor baby's worked all day we had some trouble with our sink you need more carrots? Um, yes, please. But I'll take this onion for you right now. Take it. He is, has been underneath the sink for the last, it's seven. He's been under the sink since about uh, maybe 1030 this morning. Um, we had some problems with the, just some sink troubles in an RV. Um, I put a half an onion in, half a white onion. I'm putting a tablespoon of garlic and i have this is my um let me show you i put this much celery i'm not a fan of celery you could put two full stocks but i got the skinniest stock of celery and i'm doing celery and i'm doing um carrots and you know what the carrots can be smaller too baby any size you do fine don't worry about it um i put it all in there um I actually did a whole chicken on, on the stove. You can get a rotisserie and bone it. You can get chicken breast and make a chicken breast and then bone it. You can do thighs. I did the whole chicken on the, like the whole carcass and everything in the pan. And, and you guys are probably wondering why I'm wearing a sweatshirt. And we have our air conditioner set at, six, I say it every time, 65. I like it chilly in here. I'm gonna bring you guys over. Hold on, yeah. You gotta put some in here, baby? Yep, there you go. Drop it all. This is what we, when we, when eating ours, we like it to be, um, I'm not a big celery fan, but that's about, I like the, <coughs> but do, if you like more celery, then put more, if you like bigger chunks, I try and hope, hopingly, the, I hope that the celery 
falls apart into absolutely nothing. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna, but I hope it does. So garlic, onion, garlic, onion, celery, carrots, and that's it, right? Garlic, celery, carrots, onion. And a little bit of oil. I have about two teaspoons of oil. Um, you, I put a little, when I didn't have much oil, I put butter. So if you need to put butter in place or in addition to it, you guys are more than welcome to do a little bit of butter. Just be careful with your butter if you put it because you don't want it to, um, you don't want it, your butter to get burnt at all. But I'm gonna saute my vegetables until relatively tender. And I would say about three minutes. And then what I'm going to do while that's going, I'm going to do my bowl, which I love. This is the good time where you would go, hey, there's biscuits. I'll use those. Home style biscuit mix. I, I can use that. I actually bought them because I was like, I don't know. It's a lot quicker to do that. Um, and then I started thinking, I want to make biscuits with you guys, so that way, um, I, it's, it's, it's kind of cool to, uh, to make homemade biscuits. And I have yet, for living in the South, have made a good enough biscuit that I'll present to anybody. I've made biscuits here. Um, biscuits are really hard, and I'm not, I haven't got the folding. Like, you can only fold it once or twice, then you press down. And then you like you cut it, and you can't twist it because you're gonna you're gonna um, you're gonna you're gonna seal the ends, which means the biscuits won't rise. So you have to use a smaller pan for your biscuits, and you have to use um, you have to not twist your your biscuit. You can't go like that because it's cutting it's closing the ends of it. So if you make biscuits, you have to drop it and let it cut. Like hold it down really hard. A little tip for you guys if you ever make biscuits. I know that much about it. That's why I don't understand why they're not working. <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. Okay, we're gonna make biscuits. And if they don't, if I don't like the way it's looking, I have two cups of flour. Hey babe, do you mind if I put the lid on this? I'm gonna put the lid on this, is that okay? Could you grab a cup uh, and put a half a stick of butter in it? And I gotta warm it up in there. Yeah. I have flour here and I am putting, can we, uh, half a stick? I'm putting, I'm gonna put salt, pep, pepper, and baking powder in my biscuits. Half yes, stick? yes, please. Um, here's my salt. I'm eyeing it, but it's a, about a teaspoon. It just comes out real slow. So you know where our little pepper shaker to... is? Yes. Thank you. You know where our little baby pepper is? It was uh, that silver can one. Um, is it a baby pepper? I oh, know it's like pepper, but I'm just saying it's a little baby can of it. And I, I said, oh, let's keep that in case of emergency. It's an emergency. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put a teaspoon of baking powder and then I'm gonna Baking powder, salt, and flour. Salt, pepper, for if it, if you want it. If you don't want it, don't put it in there. It's just for your biscuits. Everything else is going to be seasoned. There's salt and pepper in here. Hi, baby. Yeah, come on with it. Yeah, it's just salt and pepper. Okay, I'm going to put my fire a little lower. And you can buy broth. I ended up boiling my chicken earlier, you guys, so that's why I have broth. Um, Get out of there. Get up there. What did I tell you? Salt and pepper. Come here. Okay, and I'm gonna get a whisk and I'm gonna mix that up. Thank you very much. What you need, baby? Uh the broth in the fridge. Salt pepper guys. Baking powder. Or pick up a packet of this, and that's all you have to do. You can do it just they both turn out the same. I promise you, I've made it like this. I've made it like that before, and it's totally fine. Huh? Can we throw that away? Yeah. Oh, you don't want to? Oh. Mm, you didn't like that? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> dump it, dump it. Um, I'm going to put milk in here 
the baking powder is your agent that's going to help your biscuits get like poofy in your pan. This takes, what does it say? One package and then milk. That's it. See guys, this is my broth from earlier. It's cold. That's why it looks not clear. So I've sauteed my vegetables. I've added my broth. That's all I've done. Hey guys, you want to drive them over? Just oh no no no, it's okay it's okay. I'll, do, I'll wait to get a little further along and then we'll drive them over. All right. I'm gonna warm my broth up. Do Believe you? it or not, you guys, I literally start preparing. Well, I kind of always am thinking. I'm like going and looking through my recipes. I'm looking for. Um, I'm just always like writing it down. Things I got to remember to say. Um. Um. You know, like my shopping list, if I forgot to buy something, I'll send Joe to go grab it. Um, this morning, I started doing my chicken, and then I knew I was going to have to debone it. And so I, you can, like I said, buy a chicken breast, buy thighs, buy boneless, skinless thighs, um, and you don't have to worry about boning anything. Um, it's a little more economical for us to buy a whole thing and then use the parts that we want off of it. Here's the chicken that we got from it. Once my chicken, I mean, once my, um, once my, uh, broth is is warmed up i'm gonna just stick this in there believe it or not the part that was most impressive to me was your biscuits are gonna be what's gonna thicken that it sounds crazy right i know I, oh, i'm gonna show you guys so i got butter melted butter half a stick half a stick half a stick of butter oh yeah do you see them is that my little <laughs> they, <laughs> they want to come in <laughs> they're in trouble um, time out. There's, I can, if I didn't want this, I could have put uh, buttermilk instead of butter and milk. I didn't buy that. That's a little more costly at stores these days. So I got, mm -hmm. it's okay. Here's my flour. I might even use my mini. I love these. These are my favorite thing, little baby ones. Okay, I'm gonna mix that up. And I'm mixing my, my uh, butter and milk in my biscuits. I have baking powder and I have salt. The butter and the milk is in the cup? Yep, butter and the milk together. That's why my milk is yellow. Otherwise, you can buy buttermilk, you guys. Buy buttermilk, and you don't have to do it like this. You can you can do just um, buy a package of biscuits, and if you're in a hurry, you can just whip them up like that, so that way the kids and everybody can be eating. I mean, imagine if I had that package, just did that, I'd be done already. But obviously, we have, like, I want it to be a little bit i want you to have an option that's that's a nice that's what i main reason i don't want you guys to have to do it one way um, because that's all that you you didn't nothing no other option so baking powder um baking powder and what is it milk and butter yes baking powder milk butter salt, salt. And if you want pepper, again, we know Yvonne. She's not a big fan of pepper, but Joe is. So we put a little in there for him. Thanks. This is my biscuit dough, y'all. And I'm going to get a tablespoon. No. This is, if I would have used this and added just the milk, it would have been this dry. That's what they look like. Okay? Yeah. So I am now, with this, going to let this hang out for a minute. Believe it or not, that kind of activates the baking powder in it. Letting it sit for a minute. Okay, let's sit that for a minute. Biscuits, sticky biscuits, but it's okay. Thank you, baby. Yes, I'm gonna grab my chicken. Um, we have dark and white meat. We like Bring it both. Back up. I'm gonna come up. Okay, the dark meat is the dark meat. I think has more flavor. Um, my husband, my son and my brother both cook, uh, they're skilled, uh, trained cooks, and they agree that the dark meat does have more flavor. 
the white meat is a little bit easier to do That's like the music. certain no she's no <laughs> everybody the say kid. hi say hi to budapest uh, the kids are just watching. um anyways um oh my god i want to cry um the chicken has dark and white meat but if you want just legs if you have the rotisserie this is what i would do because we ate rotisserie and then we just put the whole carcass and everything in there and everything that falls off let it fall off then get your strainer and then when you get your strainer take all the bones and all the little pieces out but don't try to do it like when it's there let this boil and then all of the bones will literally you'll grab your tongs to grab it out and the whole thing will fall apart just stick it on a plate and let it cool off in here is going to be your broth and that's like anything you it's literally the flavor of your bones you can put onion in it you can put garlic in it anything that you want in it when that carcass is cooled off that's when you you know sit down on the at the table go and just kind of bone it because there's a little tiny bones if you're going to be serving it to people like your kids or anything but there's little tiny bones that when you do the whole carcass in the in the pan there's a lot of teeny tiny bones that you won't normally see so if you're going to do it like that just be prepared that you will have to make sure you get all the smaller pieces out of there because there's going to be smaller pieces in that that fall off of the whole carcass if you're doing a chicken breast obviously you just pull it out and bone it but if you're going to stick the whole chicken in there it's it, it, it's great you have a, a lot of flavor from all the bone in the parts but you'll want to make sure i got um a really tight strainer and strain out all the bones and all the little fibers and all the um skin all the pieces of skin that fell away from it so now this is what we have this is what yeah your eye candy took care of that <laughs> joe did this while i was doing a lot of the other stuff i promise um put you want to hold it in here baby i can we can take the trip what <laughs> Chicone, y'all. Look at this, guys. Okay, I'm gonna stick all the chicken. Stick it all in. I mean, there. what's the worst you could happen? You have a lot of chicken in your soup, right? I mean, maybe not. Maybe I'll absorb all my liquid. My daughter and my son and my <laughs> know about Yvonne's ba uh, cooking ex uh, adventures. Chicken and rice or chicken and stars. And you know what? It's a learning <laughs> thing, you guys. One time I made chicken and rice. Just know that there's hope for all of us. One time and I made... she means just chicken <laughs> and just rice. One time because I made... it was a big clump it of was not. stuff. Okay, let me tell you guys where, where I am today. It was tasted from wonderful. Trial though. and errors. Okay, what happened Destiny was knows. I made I boiled chicken. I made my chicken soup. All I right. didn't have noodles, which I thought we were gonna make chicken noodle soup. Truth but then I was back. like, oh shoot, let me just make chicken rice. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna fix again. This the mexican in me was like eh, measure what's that so i grabbed a thing a, a cup of rice and i threw it into my pan well well let's just say we went and waited for it to get done and the gods of the world did me dirty we came back and it was like rice pudding <laughs> all my broth was gone stuff. it looked like, horrible <sighs> um yeah it was it was gluey it was so much so there's hope for all of us but to this day my daughter's 25 and that must have happened when she was like six and my family will not let me live it down i'll say something like man i'm in the mood for blah blah blah, blah soup and my daughter is like oh, no joe don't let her back in the kitchen don't let her make chicken rice soup i'm like you guys are just dirty scoundrels <laughs> It's, it was a learning. Then you realize the importance of, um, well, my brother, who's a, my brother and my son were like, well, we still ate it though. That's true. <laughs> she said, we still ate it though. Yeah, we did. My brother and my son were like, you can always cook the rice and then add it. Mm. No, you didn't. Everybody loved it. They were like, this, the flavor was there. I'll give them, yeah, I had the flavor. flavor. It was good. It was good. Okay, guys, we're going to get our little, um, get two tablespoons or maybe a teaspoon and a tablespoon. Depends on how little or how big you want them. I need something to drink. I do too. I was looking for my water. Tea. You want iced tea? I'm going to go big. I'm you going want, big. You want uh, sweet tea? Uh, no, I got water, baby. Right. 
No sweet tea for Joe. Dark. Yeah, he lives in the south and he drinks regular tea. Light for me. Okay, I'm getting tablespoons, you guys, and I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna do. No sweet tea. See that? It's like, it, depending on what size you want, okay? This is the size I'm choosing. Okay? Your dough, your choice. Joe, it's, he's, it's a dad joke. I mean, I guess it's an earlier live joke. <laughs> I kind of like to shape it because I want it to have some some kind of a shape. But I, you know what, you guys, I've even seen people that put like the biscuits that you buy in the refrigerated section. They cut those into fours or into whatever. Um, and I'm like, oh, I, I mean, I like it to be. These are um, these have a different uh, bite when you bite down on it. I swear to you, they feel like beignets. They're just airy and pockety and. Good. Joe, what are beignets like? Oh, man. Better, they're a step above the best donut I've ever had. They're the greatest. If ever. you get it from the right place. And you know what, guys? If they're different in size, like maybe one's a medium, one's a small. I mean, I can do them smaller than that, so that way they, they are throughout the bowl. Because they're going to double and probably triple expand. When they're... they're let me bring them over here. Yeah, right there. When they go in, oh, um, here we go. When they go in, you guys, they're gonna sink down. When they start getting done, they're gonna pop up. They will pop up to the top. They're gonna. What they need is the top to go on it, and the, when they when they the top goes on it, all of a sudden you'll see a bunch of balls everywhere. So I'm gonna finish making them really quick so that way we can watch it actually get done. Are there any questions? Questions? This is chicken. <laughs> this is chicken. This is Joe. chicken on dumplings. Joe. These are like 80s jokes. You have to have been <laughs> old to know these. <laughs> this is when you know he's, his body is tired. He's had a long day. Oh, it's been a mother of a day. Any questions that we can answer? Uh, but I would say any chicken will work other than canned chicken. I wouldn't use a canned chicken. Um, canned chicken is great for chicken salad. Um, that's probably all canned chicken is good for. Um, Crafty FLA lady. Hey, Crafty. that's a new one. Crafty FLA. Fly. Crafty FLA. Hey, guys. Maybe it's Florida. Any, any new Hi, ones? Hi, Mama. Any? Seems we run in the same streets. Hello, well. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Crafty. Mama Craft, T. Crafty, you from uh, the Skis Chat? I think I, that's where I saw your name. How about Mama T? Ooh, Mama T's from Charlotte's on the Web. And All right. I, you know what? That's the best part about um, I love that I talk to people. I, I, I'm open to everybody. I'm glad that um, uh, I've made changes in in my YouTube uh, experience that I'm, uh, I I just have a different mindset. There's a lot of good people everywhere and if you close them off, you miss out on some good people. And I really didn't grasp that at first. Um, now I, I get it and I love the fact that there's a lot of, I'm eating beef dumpling soup. Are you really, Jerry? Oh, baby, are you, how about sleeping log? <laughs> okay, the story behind the sleeping log. I should have put that as my name, Destiny. We were driving our daughter out west to drop her off at college, and I sleep a lot. Okay, guys? <laughs> sleeping she sleeps in, in, a, in a nanosecond. We went to um, a four, uh, what's that called? A four, 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 four plex four. theater. It had four things, like 3D, 4D. 4D, that's what it's called, 4D. Oh, yeah, 4D. Um, oh, uh, G.I. Joe. We went and seen G.I. Joe in 4D. And my daughter and my husband were sitting there. <laughs> All of our seats are going. Because <laughs> there's, like, mist going and our chair's moving. And I was, like, her and my uh, and my daughter and him look at each other. The thing's buzzing. And I'm, like, jerking your It's, like, shaking me. And I I fell right to sleep. It was literally, it, it was like it rocked me like a baby. 
Yeah, I fell asleep in a 4D with mist blowing on my face. And I had, um, it was a great sleep, let me tell you that much. I had good sleep that night, or that afternoon. They never let me live that down either. Oh my God. I want my son to do a, I want to do a cam where we do like, my daughter while she's over in Budapest cooks with me. Or my son, you know, he's trained, so he's probably gonna, his cooking style is gonna be a lot different than mine. Oh, they're floating. I'm coming, I'm coming. They're already airy, honey. I know. Quite airy. Puffy, puffy. All right, come on, bring that little baby thing over here. What time is it? I wanna know. 25 minutes, you guys. Hold on. I'm telling you, y'all are gonna start cooking good in less than 30 7 minutes. 730, yep. 7.30 straight up right now. Okay, bring that over. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna grab a lid. You can move it around. You don't have to be afraid of it. They're kind of, little pieces will break off. And they're already fluffy. Yep. Little pieces will break off. And then like the, that's what thickens your soup. The soup thickens from the, the starch or the flour that's on it. So if I make it like this big, it might end up being this big because little parts of it fall off. So you'll have little pieces, like almost like noodles. Like there's like... Almost like egg noodles. That's what it reminds me of. Oh yeah? Let me put a lid on it so they can... Because they're thick and, and fluffy. There it is. Okay guys, you're done. You're 25 minutes and you're done. Um, this is available. And Take the help where you can get it. We're back. I did a little extra because y'all are worth it. Just kidding. I did this because I wanted you to know that there's an option. Have this if you want this, but now you know how to make it. <laughs> it's it's baking powder, um, baking powder. It's flour, two cups of flour, baking powder, butter, and milk. I microwaved it so the milk can, the butter can melt. Um, salt and pepper in it. Don't forget to like and share it. I'm going to let this get a little bit more um, poofy. We're going to see if there's any Gabby, questions. It's here. Gabby! Crafty lady, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. You guys, I'm going to answer some questions if you guys have any. Um, I'm going to answer them. I'm going to leave this on so you guys can actually see the finished look. So that way when you're done, you'll be like, mm, hers didn't look like that. Because that's what I do. I'm like, mm, it don't look like that. And I end up did going. You need, did you need the salt and pepper yet? I got that up for you. I didn't know. I you did it, it in the oh, flour. Did I did. Okay. It. I floured my biscuits. You don't have to flour your biscuits, but you do have to. And what am I saying? You, I put salt and pepper in my biscuits. You don't have to put pepper, but you must put salt, or your baking powder will do nothing in that flour mixture. Okay. So that's if you're gonna not put pepper, make sure you put salt. Otherwise, like I said in the tortillas, if we do the flour and or if I do the flour shortening or flour oil and um, baking powder and salt if i don't put hot enough water it won't activate it same thing here this this the salt activates it but the salt has to melt so if i don't put baking powder if i don't put salt in my biscuit then i put baking powder for nothing because it's not going to do nothing for those biscuits you have to put salt uh put cayenne put experiment with the different flavors if you guys like spicy put uh put red pepper flakes put whatever you want i i like to try the first time the when i'm giving my nieces or somebody directions i want to give them the first the most basic and let them go from there that way they have a template and they can go wow i really like peas in mine i think i'll put peas in next time i personally don't eat peas, so I would never put peas. But if he was making it for himself, he might put peas in it. And does it matter if you like look at it, or you should you keep the top um, on all the time? It's not rice. Rice is the only thing you can't ever look at. Mm -hmm. That's um, why I have because I'm milk. I'm uh, or you can buy to the Mexican way. <laughs> you can buy buttermilk instead of doing the butter and milk. Buy buttermilk and flour, salt and pepper. You don't have to do it with butter and then milk. Just buy buttermilk, pour that in there. Same thing. Shall we look, ladies and gentle people? Here we go. Let's take another trip, y'all. Wait, let's make sure it looks right. All I'm right. just kidding. Take a peek first. 
There we go. Ooh, let me lower. Let me lower. I'm going to get a ladle. Oh, you make me nervous. Oh, they're getting all poofy. And they are. And the broth is going to get thicker, guys. It thickens up. Uh, if you, I wouldn't add any slurries, any flour, flour, uh, milk slurries until, all, wait a good 30 minutes, you guys, because all of these particles are thickening your broth. And after a minute, you're going to have very thick, um, it's going to be almost like a cream of chicken soup versus, uh, the brothiness of it. These biscuits just are, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Time, time thickens this. So I, if I were to add the slurry to this and then add biscuits, more than likely my biscuits and that are going to be, be chicken very... and rice soup. <laughs> I was just going to say that. It's going to be, it's gonna be one back. thick ball of something. So, We've learned our lesson, haven't we? We do. <laughs> I mean, I've made this before so that I know, I know, what, the, um, I know what the biscuits do to it. So I put the camera on this side so we can... Now that we, we can look right at the camera now. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's over here. Because so, we're always looking. Over yeah, there. we're always looking over on to that side of the camera. All right, guys. It always look like we're looking off into the distance. This is where we part our ways. Oh, oh wait, do we look at the questions? Questions? Anything? Um, Good evening, um, from Ellie M. Hi, Ellie. We got chicken, guys. So dramatic. Who doesn't love peas? <laughs> That's from Dust. I was going to say, she loves her peas. All right, guys. This is what it looks like. You are able to do this. 20, 25 minutes, you guys are going to be having people over for dinner, and they're going to go, yeah, I made this. And your family's going to go, what? When did you start cooking? And you're going to go, Pfft. I've been cooking for weeks. Okay, I mean years. I've <laughs> been cooking for days. Who cares? They will never know that this is your first or second recipe you did. It's going to taste so good. They're going to think you've been doing it for years. Any questions? Yeah, that looks good. We're making somebody hungry. Mama Yay. T. We want to make people hungry. That's a good Absolutely. sign. That's good looking stuff. I'm going to take a picture. I'll post it, you guys. But right now, this is what it looks like. Your broth is going to thick it up. It's right. already getting thicker. All right, well, we're taking, not... going to take a trip. <laughs> <laughs> You're so dumb. Yeah, it is thickening up already. It's getting a little it's cloudy. Just, it, yeah, it's it's a slow. It, I mean, these How are long biscuits. does that take? To get it thicker, I would definitely leave it. It's probably been in here for... Oh, 10 mm -hmm. minutes? 15, 10, 12, 15 minutes. Maybe. I would definitely leave it 10 more minutes. I would come in here and move it around. That's the ideal thing to do is kind of mix up what's on the bottom. It's your vegetables. Um, you're moving things around. It's your biscuits. Look at how cute the biscuits are. We can are. put some in a bowl. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Look at your biscuit. There we come go. Over. That was a quick trip. Oh. Come over. Can you guys, I'll zoom you into my biscuit. See the biscuit, you guys? The airy pocket. That Ooh. is a sign of a good biscuit. Yeah, baby. It's got air in pocket. Woo! Feels so good. Okay, and we're let's, back. Let's get it on. All right. Okay, I'm coming. What do you what do you season it with at the top to make it look mm, all pretty? We'll put a little parsley. Oh yeah, let's do that. We'll yeah, put a little, little parsley. Little uh, uh, paprika. If you have a, a let's see. Whatever you do, don't overdo the greens, whether it be parsley or basil or whatever you're going to put in there. It will turn your broth colored tinted green. Again, something I learned when I was 17 or 18. Uh, I started tink, tink making time. It is tink tink time. It is. It will put your broth in a different shade of green. If you Southern has a request. Give it to us, Southern. Bring it. We love requests. Bring that request. Nosy wanted us to do fideo. We did fideo. Come on. What y'all got? What, uh, yeah. What do you want to sprinkle on top? Uh, oh, this. What did Something I just Something red. Red? What do you think they are? Christmas colors? I don't know. All right. Here we go. Wow. Can you teach us fried ice cream? Ooh. Do you know how to do that? That's actually really easy. 
It's a preparation. You have to uh, do them, and you have to freeze it. And then you roll, once the frozen ball, you roll it in the crust when it's froze. So it's it, we'd have to prepare it, and that way y'all can actually see it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can do it a quick step, so that way you can have it. I had no idea she could do that. Don't teach us. <laughs> it's a little tricky. Destiny I had no idea she could do that. Destiny has a question? What, babe? I don't know. Carrie says Destiny has a question. Give it to us, Dest. What's your question, Destifly? She wants us to go over. Okay. What is your favorite dish you have made so far? Asking for the chat. Ah. Our favorite to Good eat? Good question. Or our favorite to... I don't know. I made some pretty I, awesome uh, Italian sausage late night. We haven't taught them that, baby. What have we made for the chat? We didn't. We we made it on on. Uh, oh, on this it was thing just here. Joe eating this thing. No, nope. it was just the only thing you made we at did. night was popcorn. Really? Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but you had it. You enjoyed it, huh? <laughs> um, baby, what do we enjoy teach? I, I am glad that I showed people how to make enchilada uh, sauce and tortillas. So now, oh. Oh the the. Southwestern egg rolls is my favorite. Oh yeah, so far, yeah, yeah, Southwestern yeah. Southwestern egg rolls are, are they're so good, man. Yeah, and good for like for game time. And they're so for, easy for the to make. I'm I like yeah, teaching good. things that you don't have to give people money for. You don't have to use tortillas either if you don't want to. You can use egg, egg roll wrappers or uh, the spring roll wrappers, and you can do them the same. But it's not quite Southwestern without the tortilla. <laughs> but they're still good. Call them. Uh, Oh, sopapillas. Yeah, I'll make some. My mom wanted me to make the sopapillas. Um, so the girl that we are doing our teaching for, are, are doing our cooking, is for the one Do that's in chat. Do you ever add cheese chat. in the biscuits? Hi, Buncho. Do you ever add cheese in the biscuits? Um, Marissa why not? Valero wants why to not? know. Put some cheese in the biscuits. We are going to do one of our copycat Tuesdays is going to be the Red Lobster from scratch cheddar biscuits. Yep. Not the box of Red Lobster cheddar biscuits, but biscuits with the cheese in it. Oh, shit. Um, hi, Buncho. Destiny's here. My, uh, Buncho, uh, Destiny, Buncho's there. I love all of you guys. <laughs> Abby's there. Yep, and so is Buncho, and so wow, is Destiny. Wow. Um, she's away at school making us proud. Um, our son is up in Michigan making us proud. He's such an amazing dad. Our daughter is such a strong... We're so blessed. I remembered you, Dest. Mm -hmm. Not her. It was me. I remembered you. Yeah. <laughs> My kids have me in tears most of the time because I miss them. Parenting is not meant to teach to say goodbye. We're not meant to say have a good life and follow your dreams. Our job is to say, stay in the house. Let me lock the basement. Stay here. We need spoons. <laughs> want your little spoon? White spoons. Um, like those? I love my spoon. We <laughs> pho. We have our daughter-in-law who makes pho, and um, we are gonna do. Um, oh, we're getting our our aprons next week. I believe she said she's mailing them tomorrow, so that way we can show you. We're gonna do a raffle. It's gonna be five dollars uh, a donation, um, and then we're gonna give away the the apron. Apron. To somebody um okay let's do this anybody got a uh, pepper no oh, salt pepper. we don't we can't find it right oh there. you want that one <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay this is just a shake there you go you're good, you're good all right let's do this don't don't mix it up i'm gonna shake it hold it up so you can take yeah. a picture don't burn your fingers oh it's hot oh, angle. Here we go. angle <laughs> who did this who did that who did that? Look at that. Hold on, we gotta, uh, some, uh, hold on, I gotta take that off of there. Okay, guys, we are gonna take a bite. Our ting coming up. You ready, Dad? Uh, yes, ma'am. We're bringing it up. We're bringing it up. Oh my God, up. I'm so nervous and excited all at once. Ooh, dumpling and some chicken. Here we go. Huh. Tink, tink. Oh, I have no drink. That's hot. How do you do that? That's good. Very mm. good. You don't need, I don't think you need any more time on the dumplings. They're, they're pillows, good. you guys. They're, they're good. pillows. They're pretty good. Really good. Shoot, man. I would Shoot put a little high. more salt. 
Yeah, a little more Me salt. Me personally, I would put more salt. Salt. Remember, taste your food before you give it to people. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little two seconds, but you, instead of handing him something, I should have tasted it before he did it. Now he knows it needed salt. Yeah. Going again? They are soft. They are pillowy. They're ready to be eaten. Mm. I'm telling you, they're, they feel like you have a little piece of pillow in your mouth. Mm -hmm. They taste like, if anybody's had a beignet, they taste... They, um, they wouldn't seem like they'd be light, but they're Yeah, I was just going to say they're light. That's cool, man. Very good, babe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Always good. Thank you, guys. Uh, someone said they needed 15 chat time or something. Oh, no. She was saying to oh, okay. 15 in. So let's hit the like. If you guys can hit the like, share. One of my girlfriends said that <clears throat> her mom's going to watch, but she didn't want her mom to be commenting or nothing. It just she Well, she doesn't have an account. And so she was just going to be watching on her chat. But isn't that kind of cool? I love the fact that she wanted to share us with her mom. Share us on your Facebook. Share us online. Anywhere you can. We'd appreciate it. Um, we're excited. Good? All right, guys. Very good. Thank you for coming in. Tomorrow we are making... I don't even know. Ay, Dios. Okay, what are we making tomorrow? What um, are we making tomorrow? We're looking it up, y'all. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're looking it up, you guys. We're either doing the cornbread, the jalapeno cheddar cornbread, or scalloped potatoes. Right, one or the other. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thank you again for coming in. It's a quick soup. It took us about 25 or 30 minutes. Um, 20 <laughs> minutes, and then you got it. <laughs> Joe, <Joseph, you laughs> uh, right, um, we'll save you some. Have a good day, guys. Thank you again. Just thank you for coming in. Thank you guys. She's in Budapest. It's already 1.30 in the morning. So thank you for coming yep. in, Mamas. I really appreciate it. About 35 it. minutes all together, really. <laughs> it's 10 to 3, Destiny. Go to bed. Oh, my Lord. You're up late, girl. Oh, my word. My thank you for coming in, Destiny. I really appreciate it. I've been asking her and telling her I wanted her to come in. Oh, my Lord, Destiny. Chasey didn't come in. thought I seen him. Oh, I miss you so much, Mama. You Good said night, baby. Who's Miho? Um, you know, Drew was in. Oh, okay. Oh, Des, she misses you. I love you guys. Have a good one. All of my family, thank you for showing support. All of my subs, all of my friends, all of my girls. Go to thank bed, you. Des, <laughs> go to bed, right? It's already almost yeah, it's 3. It's almost 3 a.m. All right. Good night, Des. Go to bed. I love you. Just to watch. Love it for his bite. Aw, Des. She got up just to watch. Wow. You're so sweet, mamas. I love you, baby girl. What do you want? She's up. Like, she's going to tell yeah, me. Thumbs up. She's going to tell me. Can you sell me? <laughs> Destiny. I love you. Well, we know you. I'm telling you, I'm going to get a we text that her. says, can you sell me? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I love you. Have a good night, guys. Bye, bye baby girl. Bye, Mio. Bye, Drew. I don't know if you're still in or not. All right. Bye. See you later, Drew.